and this is Like So Amazing. Welcome back to my channel and hello to any new viewers. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I made during the month of August. So can't believe we're into September already. This year is going so quickly. August was a great month actually sewing wise. At the beginning of the month we had the sewing weekend in Cambridge and there's a separate video all about that which I'll link to so you can go and have a look at the fun we got up to. But it was basically a whole weekend of meeting old and new sewing friends, getting together, having a bit of a sew along, having some talks and workshops. So yeah, really really good fun. And apart from that I've actually sewn quite a few things. I didn't think I'd get time to but um, done pretty well for getting things made. So firstly I'm going to share with you the thing I'm wearing. So this is the Jennifer Lauren handmade Maybury dress. So it's newly released this week and I was lucky enough to be a pattern tester for it. It's a beautiful dress actually, it's got lovely detail on it. So it's got buttons down the side so all this opens up, that's how you get in on. And I actually chose to do um, snap poppers on mine little pink ones and it's got a little waist tie and um, but I'll put a video in so you can see the whole thing yeah really really lovely pattern definitely recommend it and um, there's a three quarter length sleeve and a long sleeve version so I'm going to make probably the long sleeve version um, for a next one for um, winter maybe just in a plain black actually that would be quite nice I'm quite drawn to dark colours at the moment because I sense we're going into winter but yeah highly recommend this pattern Go and check it out on Jennifer's website. I'll leave all the information below anyway for you. I've also done a full blog post review as well, so you can have a look at that. Next up is another New Look 6493 jumpsuit. So I've made the cropped culotte version. So I've previously made this in a yellow rayon, which I absolutely love. But I've got this fabric at the sewing weekender as part of the swap. And it turns out it was donated by the lovely Megan from Pigeon Wishes. So hi Megan, thanks very much for this. It's a lovely tropical print, which I thought would be perfect for the summer. It's a poly crepe. I must admit actually in the sunshine, in the blazing hot sunshine, it gets a little bit warm because of the polyester content but it's really really lovely to wear, really fun and comfortable as well. Secret pyjamas all the way. I got another couple of pieces of fabric from the sewing weekender. I ended up making three garments this month alone from free fabric, which is brilliant. So I made another Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. So I've just got this floral jersey. And it was just enough to squeeze out a three quarter length Agnes top. So really pleased with that. Yeah, lovely autumnal colours as well. And the other item I made with donated fabric was an Ogden cami. It's in the wash unfortunately so I can't show you now but I'll insert a clip for you. So yeah I really love that one as well and it turns out I've got a cardigan that's the exact right shade of red for it so that's perfect. I don't know if you've seen my recent workwear video I will link to that as well but I started sewing some smart things as well. When I was at the sewing weekend uh, we went to a little shop called Backstitch which is in Cambridge and I found this beautiful cotton suiting and if you can see there it's just got a slight fleck to it so it's not plain charcoal there's just a slight hint of white thread running through it it's such beautiful fabric it's really really super soft and I've lined it with this lovely cotton lawn I had which has got secret cats in it they're actually proper tailored trousers. The pattern is the Pauline Alice Sorrel trousers. It's got welt pockets in the back. It's got this lovely detail here, which is borrowed from kind of men's tailoring. And I've done my version with, so fly front, and then I've done a trouser hook and bar on the front there. They are so beautiful to wear, really, really flattering. I'm really sorry if you can hear the cat. Come on in. Sorry if you can hear the cat meowing all the way through. She just wanted to come in and say hello. 
So this is Jasmine if you haven't seen her before. Beautiful and slightly grumpy Jasmine today. Really lovely to make, really lovely to wear. I really enjoy the extra process of making them and the whole tailoring. Once you get the hang of the welt pockets, it's really easy. And it turned out I had just enough fabric left over to make myself a pencil skirt. Had a little look around at some patterns online and I came across the By Hand London Charlotte pattern. I really like their sizing actually so I decided to go for that one and it's beautiful. Really love it. I mean pencil skirts are never going to be the most comfortable things in the world. They are kind of restrictive. That's why they call them wiggle skirts. But yeah it's really lovely and smart. It looks great with the Ogden cami. Uh, I chose to do mine with a little popper again on the back. And I've lined mine as well, so I've got this sort of peach colour lining, which again I got free at the fabric swap at the sewing weekender, so I did really, really well out of that. But yeah, really pleased with that one as well. And I've just done a little split at the back. And then it's all, that bit's all hand stitched down. I've also made a zinnia skirt by Colette Patterns. So this is my fourth zinnia that I've made. And I've made this from, it's an upholstery fabric or a curtain fabric that I saw in Dunelm. And just kind of fell in love with it and thought yeah i'm gonna see how that works so it was a bit of an experiment really and it does really kick out like a bell shape but i really like it so i've done the all the pleats around the top so it really kind of tucks you in at the waist and i've done a lined version you can still see all of my um, markings on there but i've done a whole video tutorial on how to make this skirt you can check out that video as well i'll pop a link to that but yeah, really pleased with that one as well. And it would be lovely for kind of work wear in the winter, but also, you know, going out for dinner or Christmas parties, that sort of thing. So the thing that I actually made during the sewing weekend was a Tilly in the Buttons Clio, so the dungaree dress. The reason I chose to make this is because I knew that I just wanted to chat really. Wasn't that bothered if I didn't get something finished, but I just wanted to make something that was easy, that I'd made before. So I made the longer length, but I didn't put the split in the front. And I also took out the centre seam, only because my OCD eye does not like the top stitching that ends up being off centre which I know a few other sewers have said the same as well. So it's cut on the fold on the front and I sewed on this little embroidered patch. So this is Barry the Flamingo. Jen from Ginger Thread Girl named him. So we love him. So I've done it with pink buttons as well. And I've also got this sort of pinky peach lining with little bunnies on it. I know it's too cute for words and then I chose to do bound seams and again that was from necessity rather than design I thought that overlocker wise we, we may not have enough machines for everyone so I thought actually if I do bound seams I can just do it all on the sewing machine and then I don't have to worry so I've turned up the hem used bias trim on that so it's really really pretty on the inside really really love this one and I also love the longer length actually because I do find that with tights the shorter version of the Clio does ride up a little bit while you're walking so this is perfect. And lastly I've made myself a party dress. I don't have any parties to go to right now but I've made myself a dress anyway. So this is the latest release from Sew Over at London and it's the Elsie dress. So it's very similar to their Betty dress if you know that one but this one has a higher back and a v-neck at the front and then it's got these beautiful big pleats in it which I don't know if you can see from the fabric that I've chosen here but anyway when it's on you can see the beautiful pleats. I chose a few different variations on mine so I added pockets because everyone loves pockets and what I really love about this is that it's got a combination of linings and facings 
So you've got the self fabric here in the facing and then I've just done a white cotton lawn for the actual lining section of it. And I also chose to line my skirt as well, just because this fabric is slightly see-through. Um, you probably can't tell here, but it's just a little bit too sheer. So I just use that same white cotton lawn to line it and it actually gives it a really nice finish because it slightly kicks it out almost as if you're wearing a petticoat underneath it and then I did my classic bias bound hem on in a green as well to match the outside just just on the lining which I'm really really pleased about so if you are at a party and happen to do an E12s you'll see that just kick up a little bit So absolutely love this. I did have to make quite a lot of adjustments. I've done a full pattern review on this one as well. So that's on my blog. So I had to make quite a few adjustments in terms of taking out quite a lot of the back seam. I couldn't really take it out of the sides. I didn't really want to do a full twirl. So I just kind of knew that if I had to adjust it, I'd take it all out of the back. So I ended up taking out a good couple of inches to get it to sit nicely on me. It's not super tight, but it's actually just a really nice comfortable fit so you can definitely eat while you're at parties which is always a good thing so yeah this this one but yeah I've done quite a lot of reviews and that sort of thing on my blog recently so you'll see a review of the sorrel trousers the charlotte skirt the LC dress the sewing weekender and the zinnia skirt so you can have a look at all of those over on my blog, which is www.likesoamazing.com. Again, I'll pop all the links below. So if you do want further information, you can have a look on there. So that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the things that I made. And I'd really like to know what you've been making recently. So drop me a comment below and let me know. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks so much. Bye bye.